Hi everyone, my name's Sadie and I'm an archaeologist living and working in London. I know lots of you will be watching this in Houston, the most multicultural city in the US. Well, most of the archaeology that I do is from the Roman period. And I don't know if you know, but Roman London was also hugely multicultural. It was called Londinium and the Romans founded it behind me in the, about the year 45 AD. Now we know through the, from the archaeological excavations that we've done that the Romans came from all across the Roman Empire, not just from Rome itself and there would have been many languages and dialects spoken. In London today, there are over 250 languages and dialects spoken, making us the most linguistically diverse city in the world. So what kind of evidence do we have from almost 2,000 years ago? One of the main types of evidence we have is from the objects, or we call them artifacts. These can include ceramic amphora, huge pots, which came from the Spanish coast or the North, Af North, the North African coast, carrying foodstuffs like olive oil or wine or fish sauce. We also have ceramic lamps from across the empire. They would have had a wick in them and some oil in them and they would have provided light in the darkness of the Roman city. We also have beautiful glass vessels which held a variety of things including perfume, medicines and of course other food and drink. We also have evidence of the types of food that the Romans were eating when they were here, many of which were imported and would have been exotic at the time. So things like figs and cherries and almond nuts all were newly introduced to Britain by the Romans. As well as the thing that we have on our kitchen tables across the world now, black pepper. But of course at the time had to come from India and was hugely rare in this country. We're also often lucky enough to have names of Roman Londoners who lived here. Including things like this tombstone, which is dedicated to a woman who lived in, in Roman London called Tulia Numidia. Now we know that the name Numidia is probably originated in North Africa, in countries that we now call Algeria and Tunisia. We also have other evidence of people coming from that part of the empire to London in the form of a man's name on a writing tablet. His name was Reductus and we know that that's really only known from Libya. We also have many other ways of looking at the people through their bones. In Roman London we, we have excavated more than a thousand Roman skeletons so far and using a variety of scientific techniques and methods we can analyse their bones to find out whereabouts they came from or where their ancestors came from. So we have examples from London of men who we know had DNA from sub-Saharan Africa and this particular man would have had black skin. And in York, in the north of England, there's a very famous burial of a woman and we call her Ivory Bangle Lady because she was buried with beautiful ivory bracelets. And she also had black African ancestry. While we're talking about York, York was a very important city in the Roman period in Britain. And it was actually visited by Septimus Severus, who was the emperor of the whole Roman Empire. He was born in Libya in North Africa and is shown here with his, with his wife, Julia, and his two sons. In fact, he died in York in 211 AD. So you've heard lots about what archaeology can tell us about our past and the Roman past of London. Now it's over to you. I wonder if you have any objects or artifacts that you treasure particularly that can be used to represent you or your culture. What kind of food do you eat that represents you and your family? Do you have favourite meals that you come back to time and time again? Are you clever enough to speak more than one language? Does the language that you speak change depending on who you're talking to and how do you think that represents you and your culture in the wider world? But I think that's enough for you to be getting on with today. I hope you all stay safe and the best wishes from Londinium.